Well, earlier this week, we brought you an update to a story we've been covering about bullying in the figure skating world. Very few people have been willing to speak out about the widespread problem, but one Montrealer is breaking his silence on the bullying that he was subjected to on the ice. And as Global Zan Leclerc reports, the former figure skating champion is calling for change among coaches and parents. Alexandre Amel was a competitive figure skater for more than a decade, and he learned early on that bullying comes with the territory. Bullying sometimes is almost an efficient technique to get those skaters to become the perfect little performers that we see. And uh, I think that's something that has to be talked about. The Boucherville native says bullying escalated when he hit high school. He was part of an elite sport-études figure skating program and quickly became a target. Personally, I was victim of lots of bullying in, in the world of Quebec ice rinks, uh, in the world of, uh, of uh, elite sports, and in the world of figure skating. Uh, my experience would have been better if some people would have known how to intervene. Looking back, Hamel wishes his coaches and parents had been better equipped to recognize the bullying and know how to intervene. Then there's the bullying between peers, between figure skaters, uh, because the, the whole world is so geared toward competition. It's so like, you have to be the champion, you're the best, that it creates a, a world where this can happen a lot. Amel says he was highly disturbed by a story he recently saw on Global News. He wasn't surprised to hear that a 12-year-old figure skater was kicked out of her elite program after speaking out about being bullied. But what upset him the most about Haley's story was the cyberbullying that ensued. When I posted that story on my Facebook account, people reacted to it, oh, she's a little, and like, bad words like I was my god and these were adult coaches that have the responsibility of children using those words to talk about that story so even though I don't know about that story that reaction of people from the institution is is scary Hamel has turned the page since his darker days on the ice he left the competitive sport at the age of 22 to start up Le Patin Libre along with a group of former figure skaters. We formed a little collective in which there is no competition, in which we recognize that, you know, our skating is a show, so let's just do a show and let's forget about medals and points and competition. And that opens the door to more respect, more acceptance of difference, and bullying is less present in that more relaxed context where everybody is accepted. Most skaters here have seen firsthand how destructive the world of figure skating can be, both emotionally and physically. I had a heating disorder for a long time. I want the shape that I saw on the television. I want, I want to be like perfect. Le Patin Libre is now known around the world. The group was most recently given a rare five-star review in The Guardian for their London premiere. Their latest creation called Vertical Influences hits Montreal in March. Pascal Jodouin says she's never felt so good on the ice. I never moved like this on, on the ice and I think it's the best way to express yourself and it's completely free you don't have to like do a sexy move because you're a girl it's a style of skating and an environment that has clearly helped these skaters break free from the destructive cycle of bullying because i was bullied i bullied others and i'm quite ashamed of that i did it i have to apologize to those people at some point um, but victims of bullying sometimes become bullies or almost all the time and this creates a vicious cycle that has to be broken. Anne LeClaire, Global News, Montreal.